Mm. Chapter 2.1, Finding the Mean. Before we begin, if you can please copy down and pause while you do this, the vocabulary for this lesson, which are mean and outlier, each found on page 61 and 62, and then press play again to start the examples. So, example one. On four days, it rained two inches, four inches, five inches, and one inch. Find the mean amount of rain. So there are two different options that we have to do this. The first is by using a picture. So here I wrote out the days, day one, two, three, and four, and I drew a picture. Each box represents one inch of rain. So on day one, we had two inches. Day two, we had four inches. Day three, five inches. And day four, only one inch of rain. Now, we know that the mean is a set of data, is the sum of the data divided by the number of items, meaning an average, meaning I want all of my days to be the same. So here I have two inches, and here I have four. If I want these two to be the same, going to take this one and move it over here. So now I have three boxes or three inches of rain on day one and three inches of rain on day two. I want to see if I can continue to make three inches and I see I have two extra inches over here so I'm going to take them and move them over here. And now I have three inches of rain all the way across. So my mean, according to my picture, is three inches of rain. Now the other way to do this is to use a number sentence. I'm going to add each of the inches together. Two plus four plus five plus one. And then I'm going to divide by the number of data sets, which is one, two, three, four. To solve this, two plus four is six, six plus five is 11, and 11 plus one is 12. So this would equal 12 inches divided by four days. So this is my number of inches. 12 inches divided by 4 days equals 3 inches of rain per day. So I can see that whether I use a diagram, I get 3 inches. Whether I use the math, I get 3 inches of rain. So let's look at example 2. Example 2 says, you measure the temperature outside each day during the week. The temperatures are 95 degrees, 96 degrees, 103 degrees, 99 degrees, and 96 degrees. Find the mean of the temperature. So when you are solving this problem, you are going to write the problem number. And I'm going to add. Now, I can leave the degrees signs off while doing my actual work. However, you need to remember to put it back on at the end because this is a word problem. You have degrees. So I'm going to add all of these up. I have one, two, three, four, five data points. So I'm going to divide by five. If I add all of that up, that equals 489 divided by 5, which equals 97.8 degrees. When you are working with something like degrees or with large numbers that don't come out even, I want you to round to the nearest tenth, please. Round to nearest tenth. 
If you need to write yourself a note so that you remember to do that, please do so. Okay, example three is where we're going to start to see an outliner. And as you read, as you wrote in your vocabulary, an outlier is a data item that is much greater or much less than the others. If a data set has an outlier, then the mean may not describe the data very well. Remember, the mean is the average. It's mostly in the middle, okay? It describes most of the data. But over here in example three, these are all quiz scores. If you want to know what your mean or average quiz score is, you will have a very different mean with and without the outlier. So looking at my scores, I see that 42 here is my outlier. All of the rest of my scores are 75, 77, 3, 81s, 87, 89, 92. They're all about the same, okay, within less than 20 points of each other. But this 42 is significantly lower than all of the rest of them. So my outlier over here is 42. If I were to add up my scores with the outlier, and you can follow along in your book for this, if I add all of those up and divide by 9, so 81 plus 89 plus 75 plus 77 plus 81 plus 42, plus 92, plus 87, plus 81, all divided by 9, it is about 78.3. However, if I add them up without my outlier, This time, I have 81 plus 89 plus 75 plus 77 plus 81, not plus 42. I'm going to skip it. Plus 92 plus 87 plus 81, all divided by 8. Now I only have 8 data scores. I come up with an average of 82. 0.875. It's a much different score than with that outlier. All right, I would like you to complete all three quick checks and to check your understanding. We will go over them the next time I see you.